we're going to take a look at how this company has changed the way we watch TV and the way companies advertise. Here's Julia Borston. Netflix's roughly 150 million subscribers binging with no commercial breaks has pushed advertisers to find new ways to reach viewers glued to ad-free platforms. One example, New Coke. It's featured in Netflix's original series, Stranger Things, with Coca-Cola bringing back new limited edition Coke cans for sale, turning the company's infamous failure into a new marketing opportunity. The streamer says none of the many brand mentions in Stranger Things are paid for, but they offer Netflix valuable promotion. In today's world, the streamers have adopted that old movie you know, technique and are working directly with brands who get product placement integration, but then they'll also promote the show in advertising, on digital, on their social channels, et cetera. So that's building uh, an audience for the show, and that's what the streamers want. Promotional partnerships also happen off screen. For Stranger Things, Baskin Robbins created eight flavors and collectible containers tied to the show for its largest partnership, and its first with the streaming platform. And it's not just Netflix. Hulu was paid to feature Miller Coors beer in 10 episodes of its Into the Dark series. Hulu says brand integrations work better than 30-second spots on the platform, delivering a nearly 90% increase in purchase intent among viewers and a 75% increase in brand awareness. And to break through the clutter, some big brands are returning to the original TV ad model, paying to produce shows and documentaries in an effort to reach consumers with content rather than the ads that interrupt it. Procter & Gamble is sponsoring a National Geographic TV series on efforts to combat extreme poverty, looking to align its products with efforts for good. Brands like P&G and others are going to benefit from having those. It is expensive. And that's really where the, the challenge comes in is, is the expense not too high such that the return is achievable? Johnson & Johnson financed a documentary about nurses in the early days of the AIDS epidemic, the brand hoping for a halo effect from the film's message of compassion and rave reviews. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston in Los Angeles.